My piece is, was entitled, Why Are You Killing the Goose That Is Laying the Golden Eggs? Safaricom's so M-Pesa is a ubiquitous and viral phenomenon. M-Pesa dialed Kenya Inc. up onto the global radar with even Bill Gates tweeting, Kenya's M-Pesa proves that when people are empowered, they will use digital tech to innovate on their own. M-Pesa was in fact co-funded by DFID's Financial Deepening Challenge Fund and Vodafone some 11 years ago and went viral from the get-go. I remember vividly being in Michael Joseph's office at the time of the M-Pesa launch and him explaining it to me. This is a sticky thing, he said. Today, M-Pesa has 20.55 million customers, contribute $629 million of revenue to Safaricom's full year revenue of 2.337 billion. Those numbers are startling and parabolic, but dig deeper and there's an extraordinary story. The original need M-Pesa met was the need to circulate money within Kenya and serve a domestic remittance market, i.e. sending remittances from Nairobi and big urban centers back to the rural areas. Consider that total mobile money for January 2018 clocked $3.229 billion versus $0.484 billion in January 2010. This M-Pesa mobile money economy was static before and largely trapped in the form of mattress money. M-Pesa is about volume but also about velocity. The M-Pesa economy has outstanding velocity. Loans are being taken out in the early hours of the morning and those same loans are being repaid in the evening of the same day. M-Pesa has been a growth engine. Whenever there's a cash transaction, we see an opportunity. Transaction value in 2017 doubled. We are building the ecosystem to monetize tomorrow. That is the Safaricom CFO Satish Kamath. Monthly usage per customer is averaging 10 transactions per customer per month. I think that's a little bit outdated, I'm not sure. I believe, but I would really like to dig into some higher frequency data. MJ said in the last year alone, the service processed 6 billion transactions, peaking at 529 a second in December 2016. MIT research published a few years ago showed that since 2008, Access to mobile money services increased daily per capita consumption levels of 194,000 or 2% of Kenyan households, lifting them out of extreme poverty. But there's an interesting gender effect. Female-headed households saw far greater increases in consumption than male-headed households. Not surprisingly, households where aging density increased by five agents, the average in the sample, also saw a 6% increase in per capita consumption, enough to push six, uh, roughly 4% of the sampled households above poverty levels. In line with its social impact vision, Safaricom introduced M-Pesa Kadogo through which transactions under 100 shillings do not attract a service fee. I was at Kakuma refugee camp a few weeks ago at a TEDx event organized by the UNHCR. And as I strolled around, I kept thinking to myself, what's changed? Then I realized all these folks are connect connected to the 21st century. They have a mobile internet and they have M-Pesa. Today, M-Pesa customers can link their PayPal accounts to their M-Pesa wallets, allowing someone in Kakuma refugee camp, for example, to buy or sell services uh, to merchants anywhere in the world. I recall Jack Ma saying at a conference I was moderating in Nairobi, it's about platform visibility. Without visibility, you're invisible. The M-Pesa economy has made the invisible visible and it has given the previously invisible the ability to transact anywhere in the world of 7 billion. It is a phenomenon, it's a grassroots miracle of democratization and economic liberation. This is something that Bob Collymore, the CEO, has always understood intuitively. We target the one shilling, he says. The banking sector across the world has always ignored the so-called base of the pyramid. We haven't because we understand that the base of the pyramid needs to be served. And there's also commercial viability in doing that. 
Therefore, when I saw that the Treasury was dialing up the mobile money excise duty 200 basis points from 10 to 12 percent, I asked myself, why are you killing the goose that is laying the golden eggs? The mobile money CAGR was equation 667 uh, divided by 8 equals 83.375 percent 2010 through 2018. I know that's not exactly scientific, but close enough. Why not keep encouraging its parabolic trajectory and taking 10% of that of that fastest growing pie of any pie I can find in Kenya Inc. It's a seriously suboptimal move. This is a symptom of a reverse Darwinism philosophy we seem to be promoting, where we penalize success. So I'm calling for an immediate reversal of his excise duty increase, its kindergarten economics, I'm afraid. I'm also calling for a lifting of the daily and pesa cap makes no sense anymore. It's an artificial number which makes little sense in the context of a cash light economy and from a regulatory compliance perspective and PESA is prima facie more compliant than the banking system because of the digital trail left by each transaction. And my final thought is that Safaricom should be considering an M-Pesa crypto coin.